Hello first grade readers. Today what we're going to look at is how we can get to know our characters in our books a little bit more. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at four different things. We're going to be looking at the punctuation that is being used in our sentences and that's going to be a really big clue as to how we can read the book. The second thing is going to be is there special print. Are there bold words, italic words? And that is also going to tell us what words we need to read really strongly and with a lot of emotion. The third thing we're going to look at is if there's dialogue in the book, um, when our characters are speaking and figure out how we should say it in what kind of voice. And the last thing is we're, that we're going to look at are the pictures or the illustrations and really paying close attention to the facial expressions that are being used. So we're going to continue looking at our Mercy Watson book and um, see what we can find. But I'm also going to show you how a character's face can change. Now I've got three pictures of my sons showing three different um, feelings. Throughout a story, a character's feelings can change a lot. You can see the boys are starting out angry and then one of the boys is feeling sad and in the end the problem is solved and they both feel happy. When you're looking at these pictures there's a lot of clues in their faces that let you know how they're both feeling. When you're reading, you can also use clues with the punctuation and the types of words that are being used. If all capital letters are being used or bold words or italic, and also if the character is speaking and how they're speaking is also a really big clue. I'm going to read a couple of short stories to you and I want you to just draw a quick sketch of what's going on to see if there's any clues that you can recognize that let you know how the character is feeling to help you figure out what is going on in the story. The kids had made a mess. There were dishes all over the kitchen. They left out all their toys, the trash had been knocked over, and now it was time for their mom to come home. What will they do and how do you know? Pause the video, do a quick sketch, and make a prediction about what is going to happen. Look for some of the clues that are written in the story. You can prove it to me by using this organizer. I think the kids will clean up the kitchen because they made such a mess. I predict their mom will see the mess because it was such a big mess. If you said something like that, you've probably made a good prediction and have a better idea of what the characters are thinking and feeling. Let's try one more together. Jill was excited about her trip. She got out her flip-flops, swimsuit, and sunscreen. Jill put them into her suitcase. She put on her sunglasses and left. Where was Jill going on her trip and how do you know? You can pause the video again and use the organizer to help you think about what's going on with the characters in the story. You could say, I think Jill is going to the beach because she has sunscreen and flip-flops. I predict she will be in the sun a lot because she has to put sunscreen on her body. Let's take a look at chapter three of Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride. Bon voyage, Mrs. Watson calls. Bon voyage, my dears. When you get home, we will all have hot buttered toast. Goodbye, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson shouts. He backs the car out of the driveway very quickly. He does not look behind him. Mr. Watson is a forward-thinking man. He does not believe in looking back. Oink, says Mercy. Already she is having a good time. And we're off, says Mr. Watson. We're off on an adventure. In reading that third chapter, I can tell from looking at the words bon voyage on the first part and also looking at Mr. Watson's face and Mercy's faces that they're both really excited to go on this road trip together and that's something that they really like doing. I'm learning a lot about their characters. I can also start to make some more predictions, which I want you to do on your own right now. When you're practicing in your own books, I want you to practice doing this too. So have fun reading and I can't wait to hear about your own books.